Hi everyone, I'm John Panetta. I teach creative writing at William & Mary. I'll be announcing the winner and the notable entries in the Academy of American Poets Prize single poem competition. Our judge for the prize is Matthias Zvalina. He's the author of seven books, most recently America at Play, a collection of instructions for absurdist children's games, and his collaboration with photographer John Pack in the book, The Depression. He's a founding editor of the small press Octopus Books. And since 2014, he has run a dream delivery service, which has been profiled on NPR's Morning Edition, Hyperallergic, and BBC World News. He's worked with the Museum of Contemporary Art Denver, Austin Modern, the Poetry Foundation, and the University of Arizona Poetry Center. The honorable mentions are Chela Ofterheed for Aphrodite in the Style of Beyonce. Abby Comey for House of Mortals. Jack Dean for Sonatina for the King. Hannah Garfinkel for Parish of Charm and Macabre. Catherine Hansen for Where Do Dreams Live When You've Let Them Go? Karina Kowalski for Pretty Flowers. Brielle Perry for After. Raina Yu for Cam Girl's Lament, and Alex Yu for To Grandma, for when I get up this morning, every morning, I need you to tell me. Third place winner is Aida Campos for The Sunsets on Chincontepec. In the judge's comments, this poem weaves disparate images of darkness and beauty and mundanity a portrait that recognizes the lovely and the fraught, arriving by the end at not an epiphany, but a sense of metaphysical relationship with the landscape the poem conjures. The second place winner is Jesse Urgo for Then. Then has the kind of precise placement of words onto the page that makes the lines images themselves, that creates its own atmosphere. It is a hovering poem, a transition, but one that brings me into its experience wonderfully. And the first place winner is Shane Moran for Matoka. This is a great poem, a poem that works from the ground up, rising up from the place the poet stands, both physical and historical. A poem of intellectual dodges and swerves and riffs gathering momentum and meaning as it repeatedly finds itself, a poem that seeks to gather the world into its embrace while recognizing the dangers in such gatherings. Congratulations to all of our poets and take care.